And we begin here at 4 o'clock. Outrage and disgust over papers found in a New Britain courthouse. I'm Irene O'Connor. A stack of anti-Semitic literature was being distributed inside the public defender's office. Channel 3's chief political reporter, Susan Raff, got a tip about this and exposed what was happening there. She's here now with where things stand this afternoon. Susan. Irene, this is the hate literature that was in the public defender's office. We are told that it has been there all week. Now, it is offensive and anti-Semitic, and after we exposed what was going on, these publications have now been removed. When we got a tip today about this, we went to the office to check it out for ourselves, and we found a whole stack of them. There are racial slurs, derogatory comments made against Jews, and the president of the United States is called Genocide Joe Biden. We spoke to Justice Richard Palmer, a former Supreme Court judge who oversees the public defender services. The fact that these were in that office and available for, you know, apparently for people to read, however they got there, they just shouldn't be there. And uh, um, there's, it, it's, it's, it's terrible. Now, the very fact that these hate flyers where publications were found in a state building paid for with taxpayer dollars. Palmer says this type of material, whoever is being attacked, these publications should simply not be there. Now, since our story came to light, the publications have now been removed, and we are told a directive has been made to all courthouses in the state of Connecticut to remove any and all of that hate literature. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we will have more reaction and the investigation into how these publications were able to get there. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.